Hello, everyone. You might be wondering, where are all the Frias at? Well, first of all, you might be wondering what the heck is a Fria. And if that's the case, then you should know that a Fria is an FAA recognized identification area, or it's the place where you can go fly your drone or your model aircraft, and you don't have to put a remote ID module or have a standard remote ID drone to be able to fly in those locations. And since January 2024, the FAA has been publishing that information on their UAS facilities map. So if you load the UAS facilities map from the FAA and uh, you zoom in on a location, uh, you'll start to see these little spots on here. Actually, you can go change the layers and you can turn off some of the other things that you might not care about. Um, but if you zoom in, let's see this location here, we can start to see a few spots pop up here, like this location and this location and this location. These are all FRIAs, places you can go and fly and not have to worry about remote ID. And if you click on one of them here, you'll see information about the CBO or educational institution that applied for the FRIA, when it was approved, and lots of information. So if you are trying to find one in your area, you can go to this UAS facilities map and zoom in on a location and see if there's any FRIAs near you. Or you can also go to FRIAMAP.com, which is a website created by Alex Suarez. And it, I prefer this website, um, even though it's a little bit more out of date, he hasn't had a chance to keep it up to date as quickly as the FAA does with their website, but you can go here and load the same information in what I think is a much easier to navigate form where you can see the entire United States here and all these dots are different FRIA locations and the different colors show you different kinds of FRIAs, whether they were from the FPV Freedom Coalition, Flight Test, STEM Plus C, or their educational FRIAs. So I can zoom into this similar location here and quickly spot where all the FRIAs are at. And I can see that there was an educational one added here since the last time that Alex was able to import the data. So if you wanted to zoom around and very quickly find the closest FRIA to where you are, this would be a great way to do it. And there is another option as well. If you're already familiar with using an app on your phone to get Lance authorization, many of those apps also include the free locations on their maps. So you can launch that app, zoom into a location, and you might be able to find a free location near you on those maps as well. All right, that's it. If you want to go fly in a free, hopefully you've got one near you and you can find it quick using one of these methods. And until then, have fun flying.